All right, I'm back for some more. Let's see if we can finish this game today. I hope so. Um, I ended in my last psychic phase with Warp Storm uh, in the shooting phase, and now we got some some fighting to do, I guess. Um, the problem is I can't really uh, do much here in terms of close combat, just simply because the units I caught in came in just in this round. So third round is usually the I'm engaging round and then also summoning the usual stuff like slanish ladies or something like that. So we'll get some combat going. I will see. Then also there's gonna be the big oomph with the Stunish blob walking on. So we see how that goes. Um, the first thing to uh, think about is do I want to charge these? I think so. Um, I think I did all my run moves already. I don't see anything that we should move anyway. Um, the thing is he came down from, or basically he fell out of the sky, so technically he's now allowed to charge, so that is interesting. I might be able to uh, do something with that. Uh, I'm still going to the assault phase, I think. So I'm going to charge uh, the noise marines here with my horrors. Um, they get to overwatch, got a grenade from the blastmaster. That misses, and then we have servo. Oh no, we have no cell weapons. Whoops, we only have rapid fire bolts because we are poor like that. <laughs> a chance. Oh, not bad. Three of them. And that is three. Uh, two wounds. And two guys die. So we got one and two. And then we. Check if these guys are within six of that blue horror unit. They are not, so we create a new one. Whoop. Blue horror unit number four. Roll their psychic. Uh, they have cursed earth. And in addition, We create a second one because they already two died. Uh, number four, right? And then we put them as far as way as possible from that horror group, right there. So if these guys charge, which they do now, they will produce new horror groups. So distance nine. So they got that easy peasy. Oh yeah, I also need to actually declare who is my character horror. I did forget that, but that's okay. I mean, seriously, don't need more uh, horror support anywhere anyway. Okay. Um, these guys are fearless, so no fear check uh, necessary. Oh yeah, I wanted to charge here, so this guy is going to charge the spawn. Um, it's like, what, seven inches something? Ah, uh, he has a reroll though, because he didn't use his jump pack, so to say. Ooh, and he needs that reroll. So, try and again. Nine inches is totally okay. So he's he's coming down and show this spawn what's up. Like that. Uh, a lot of change unfortunately does not have a soil grenade, so the spawn is going first. Uh, let's see what it mutates. Uh, that's a armor save. Uh, so utterly useless. Uh, amount of attacks, one. <laughs> and it misses. Okay, that's that was pretty anticlimactic, I guess, but I mean, it's a chaos spawn. It's dead anyway. And if not, the lot of change will be happy with that as well, because he's just talking combat and, you know doesn't really make much of a difference, does it? Um, the 
only problem is I have no idea what his combat profile is, but I think he has six attacks like all the greater demons have. So let's let's throw a th six just on my without checking for once. Uh, hitting on threes and wounding on threes, and it's dead. Not of change has five attacks. God damn it! But it uh, was enough. I mean, even with one less, I would have killed it. So the kill spawn goes down, and he's consolidating two inches. Uh, this way, I guess. This way. Given everybody the nice cursed earth bubble around him. Except that Herod is too far away. Alright. Um, then these here, in the, the noise marines obviously go on first. As I said, we have the champion here. He has um, one more attack for having close combat weapon, and then the normal dudes just have one, unfortunately. Uh, hitting on threes and wounding on twos because I string five due to combat rocks and then we have the five ups no nope. so three horrors die there's no blue horror um, in I mean they're too far away so there is a new unit created uh, one two three And here they are. Squad number five. What power do they get? Possession, <laughs> of course. And the pink horrors get to strike back. We have four of them. Four of them on the charge. It's where the leader would actually matter because he has one more attack. Wow. <laughs> um, but still, three hits and winning on fives. No. So they lose combat. Unfortunately, they are instable and lose combat by three. So leadership is down to four. And they fail by it by three. So three guys die due to instability, but one remains there. And I'm pretty sure the FAQ said uh, that the pink horrors do not get to split when they die by demonic uh, instability. Uh, it seems that the only thing that stops them from splitting is if they roll on a demonic instability test result that causes the entire unit to be taken off the table. Okay, so they still um, get no more blue horrors. Okay, so let's create new ones right there, like this. Okay, so that combat is tight. Piling in everything, and here they are. Um, I mean, nothing else going on combat wise, so we got Slanish turn two, and we have reserves. And if they don't come in, I probably have to surrender anyway. <laughs> Didn't even think about that, but still, they have to come in. So we have the Chaos group and the Normal group. Okay, they both come in. That would be boring if they would didn't. Okay, so coming in hot um, from which sides? Chaos Lord and the other group. Ooh, both from the same side. Okay. That's gonna be a big... Basically they're gonna defend. Now the sides are switched. Um, they're coming in from the left flank though. I hope there's enough room for them. Because <laughs> they're coming in from here. And there's a bunch of units, so... We'll see. Although they have acute senses having a steed. I think I almost screwed that up. Uh, let's see real quick. Chaos Lord. Wolf. Margaret Yeah, I think they have acute senses. So 
that probably means we get to row three or something. In that case, I'll just row another die at it and we see if that changes anything. Where is my noise list? There it is, Steed of Flanesh. I'll flank in acute senses. All right. So I can re-roll. In that case, I will re-roll um, both of them, because I have enough room here. Yeah, I'll re-roll both, just to be sure that uh, both of them don't come in on the same side. That would be too much. Both on this side is okay, both on this side is not okay. All right, so my choice, and one has to come in from the left flank. So there is going to be dudes coming in from here. And then the other guys will come in from the other side, because I say so. So, oh yeah, but which one was it? Uh, that's a lord, so lord can come in from this side. All right, let's march in. Um, Chaos does not really have much AoE, so I can just walk on like this. Shouldn't be a problem. And the sorcerer is so big, what the heck? Okay, that's better. So Lord and the sorcerer on the side here and then rest like that. And my noise champion with his doom siren obviously are up front. And here they are. Next group coming in from the other side. Actually, was that a noise champion? The purplish guy is the noise champion. Okay, that is the noise champion. That is the banner that should never be up front. So let's put that guy in the bank here <laughs> so he doesn't get killed. That's my champion right there. Okay. Um, on this side here, it's a little bit uh, awkward to put them down because, I mean, there's not enough room here. Um, there might be enough here because I can come in from here and get over there. Let's let's try it. I hope I do not die here. Are we cool? Five inches is totally enough. Um, so these guys come in from here because we have a bike. That can make it so that's that's okay good so uh, banner last leader last rest can just walk as expected so we get these guys walking in here yeah five inches is pretty much exactly here Then these guys will have to. Oh, actually, I can still walk them in here. There's like a tiny bit of room. Okay, I mean, that is a big juicy blob for a uh, for the gigatons of AOE I have, but you know, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be the nice, the nice guy with the summoning list, right? Okay. All right, and this is the banner. Banner goes in the middle. Rest go here, and the noise champion is going for the juicy target over there. And then the sorcerer is going to be like around here. The problem is the sorcerers are a big point waste here because I have so much uh, psychic stuff but that's okay. Alright, so big blobs of marines have arrived and we shall see what they can do. I'm gonna skip psychic to be honest because there's simply too much um, too much stuff that can go wrong here. They could peril and all of that and there's too much uh, 
guys going around here because the majority I have are maledictions and stuff or witch fire and that means my um, the demons all get to deny on four pluses or well, five pluses so it's even easier for them and they have like 40 charges at least all right so let's go to the interesting part to the shooting so these guys here will obviously shoot that guy is gonna split fire into the herald his uh, doom siren is strength uh, 6 at the moment wounds and kills herald number 5 already had a wound and the rest of the squad is gonna non split fire into this guy here you can probably just remove him but still unfortunately they only have 12 range but everybody is in and we have two shots each even in servo mode means uh, we have 5, 10, 20, 30 shots because we have 15 marines I think yeah 15 noise marines and a uh, Sarge. Alright, hitting on threes and being part of the formation, they're string five, so wounding on twos, re rolling because they have shred. And that's a bunch of saves. Yeah, I think he's dead. Blop. So, habit number two goes down as well. But it's questionable if that was such a big deal. But I mean, they have to start somewhere, right? And these guys here simply do not matter enough. The heralds are actually the more important thing. Um, these guys here could also try to fire the Lord of Change since he's on the ground. I think I'm going to do that just so they have a little exercise. So these guys will fire into a Lord of Change, but my uh, champion is going to Doom Siren these uh, horrors on the side. Unfortunately, he is a little bit close, but you know, gotta do something. Yeah, like that is optimal, I think. So we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven are hit. One, four, four, five, six, seven. Wounding on twos with demon saves. My goodness, my demons do not make any saves. So it's six dudes down. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means blue horrors are created. Because Osfrog says so. It's squad number six actually. They generate a power. And they get incursion. Which might even come handy now, because I if I can cast incursion now. I just need a bunch of um, units to sp spend on the squad here. But still, so blue harvest uh, appear. Well, actually, I, I played this wrong. Um, split actually does uh, produce two, I think, out of each. So these guys should have even more. My bad. I forgot how broken this rule is. There we go. Now it's. <laughs> So it's better. Right? There we go. Something was off here. I could feel it. There we go. As you can see, I'm still bad with the list and still, still works like a charm. So we have the blue horrors here and I'll put them within six inches, so here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And that's why you don't shoot at horse quads. <laughs> Um, I mean, some noise marines might not even be able to see here. We see um, how much.
can fire. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, it's just ten. These guys are different squad. So ten uh, can shoot the lot of change. Lot of change is um, gonna jink for his four up. Did I say 10? Okay, so we have 20 shots because they have several two. Um, hitting on three, so it's a pretty bad roll. But they are, well, um, they're straying five with shreds, so they might even do some work. Oh no, actually, he's not jinking. <laughs> they can all cover anyway, so who cares? Uh, four wounds. And then again. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool, I think. Uh, they're a little bit overwhelmed in this matchup here, but still, um, I don't think the buffs are that bad. Actually pretty good at producing wounds. Um, three saved, and two ones rolled. Thanks to being Zinch, I get to reroll these. But uh, he doesn't make any of them, so it's five wounds of the lot of change. So I think he's toast. All right, so that went pretty well. Although he was on the ground, so it uh, was a little bit easier than usual. But then again, these guys get um, one shot more each when they hold still, so we uh, would have had um, even more shots if they were shooting normally. Okay. Um, next, I am guess I'm gonna fire these guys here into the blue horrors, otherwise they're going to charge me next round, and I don't like that. Yeah, why not? I'm going to shoot the blue horrors. So the Blastmaster first, obviously. I hope it does not scatter, because if it does, um, there's going to be a bunch of more horrors, and these guys will have some trouble. But we got awfully no pain, right? What's the worst that could happen? Every Blastmaster has scattered so far, I think. That's just one direct hit. Okay, that's the second one. Good serve. So this one here hits one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue horrors. Okay. Wounding on twos, obviously. Shred. And five ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. AKA more brimstone horrors. Worth summoning. Uh, within six of these guys, so they go back right where they were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. And then the other marines will fire, but the most of they can kill is three guys, maybe? Because they can't see more. I give them four, these two and these two. So let's rapid fire those. Or oh, uh, not rapid fire, just servo fire basically. <laughs> um, three shots times four. Oh, got them horrors. Alright, hitting on threes and winning on twos. We'll shred. And five ups. Yeah. So there's one, two, three, four more guys dead. And one, two, three, four more brimstone horrors arrive. They keep coming. 
Okay. Uh, the bolt pistol from the sorcerer. Can he see anything? Yeah, he can. See, he can see that guy over there. So, one shot from him. Misses. Uh, the squad over here can fire next. Um, I think they're gonna shoot at him since they're stationary. They have 24 range, so they're gonna try to bring that guy down. Um, unfortunately, I deleted my last master, so I'm trying to target him right there. Uh, three inches over, it hits him, and that's a two to wound and a five up. So it takes a wound. And then in addition to that, we have three, six, nine, twelve shots from the normal sonic weaponry and we need fives to wound but with shreds thanks to the formation and that becomes five wounds so they're really decent against uh, these demons now uh, he makes a bunch of saves though so it's uh, three I guess three wounds total so he's down to two wounds and they're done with their shooting. Uh, this guy's still locked in close combat, so we have just one squad over here that can still fire. Um, I'm not gonna fire these freaking horrors again, because we could see what happens if I do that. So I'd rather fire at the Lord of Changes and try to whittle them down. Oh yeah, who was that guy that died? That's one, five, three, two, one, two, three, five. So I guess it's number four that died. No, that's number four. Two, one, two, three, four, five. So I killed number six. Okay. Now there was a guy that couldn't do anything anyway, so it's okay, I guess. And then the next blast master is open fire on this guy because he's the only one that's on the ground and in reach. So let's see what we can do to him. Uh, that's off. That's six inches from here. No, that's not six inches. Come on. Yeah, it's exactly here. So misses the blue horrors and the guy as well. And uh, obviously the sonic weapons are not in range or I don't have line of sight. Actually, this, this looks pretty illegal. There we go, that's better. Okay, uh, done with these guys. Uh, no leadership checks required because demons. Demons do not care. And no pinning checks either, which they, uh, which the Blastmaster would cause, actually. And yeah, I guess, I mean, they reduced some of the warp charges, but not much else. Okay, so this guy here against the five guys. So we have the champion and then the four other dudes. Hitting on threes, winning on twos. With five ups. Oh, he almost made it, but he rewards once. He still dies. <laughs> Poor pink horror. So he dies, produces two mo more mooks, and that's uh, pink horror group number four destroyed. And they get to consolidate one inch. They're a little bit exhausted. And the blue horrors are like, wait a second. <laughs> uh, but they will not have to worry about these guys because they know possession, so they're gonna turn into a lot of change rather quickly. So no point in being worried, being charged by these. Also, these guys have toughness too or something, so they're not really that uh, 
that great. They are all here just to make sure that these guys have something to deal with. Um, I guess that's it for Slanesh turn two. So we have turn three Zinj and we have movement first of all. Alright, so the Bloodthirster is obviously gonna head this way. Oh yeah, by the way, it's not a unfettered fury. I took obviously took the D one, because D just removes models from play, and that's better than um dealing with these goddamn four plus Fino paints everywhere. And uh I don't have strength eight to instant kill them. So he has to deal with them now. Uh this MOOC also is gonna charge. Um these guys here will take tank the entire overwatch. Why not? <laughs> and then we'll see what I can do with uh, drowning these guys with strong attacks. Um, the brimstone horrors will start moving first. Six inches. They're getting the hell out of here. And the blue horrors number six, I'm gonna check if they know possession. Blue horrors number six, no incursion, so I don't care about them. These guys will have the honor to die to the overwatch. Six inches, perfect. So they will sit right on top of here and suicide for the greater good, so I can charge the, the uh, brimstone horrors into the sorcerer and the squad. And then the Uh, that hero here is gonna eat the overwatch for them. <laughs> Unless I want him. Brimstone Hower number one has... Oh yeah, I, actually I want I want to keep him. I produce more Brimstone Horrors. Uh, who cares. These guys here will just move out of the way to let the big boys do the work. They're not really all that interested. And then the Blood Sister is gonna fly over here and the Lord of Change. I think it's just gonna walk, so you can reroll his charge distance. Yeah, it's just five inches, so. Um, actually, he's a monstrous creature, so he's gonna move his other six, so he can, can't possibly fail the charge anyway. Um, these pink horrors here, like, I don't know what. They're gonna head the other way, because these guys are dealt with. As soon as I summon in more stuff here, they will instantly die. Um, this dude over here is gonna come down from from the air and fly over here to execute those guys and this guy here is also gonna turn and fly there And this guy is gonna take into the air instead. Fly over here. And this guy is also gonna take into the air and fly over here. Uh, Cause the Earth is still active, but who cares? At the moment it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll keep it up or I don't, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Um, These guys don't really, I mean, they they might have a use. Um, they are seven, no, they don't have any use, so I can charge those into the squad again and cycle them into blue horrors, <laughs> as always. And the blue horrors will just stay away from them so they can produce more. And they're gonna advance this way. And then these mooks here, they will try to grab these guys here make sure that I respect them because pink horrors might not deal damage but they get uh, destroyed into other horrors and then these guys will be locked in combat forever which is what they wouldn't like as they're a shooty unit okay um, these guys here can actually move now because it's absolutely safe for them to move up there's nothing left that can help them 
and nothing left that could kill them. Oh, actually, I'm gonna move them the other way. I don't need to summon new stuff here. I need to summon stuff on the other side of the map. Funny enough, I still have all my um, all my commissars in my squads here. Although I lost one squad to uh, possession, but I mean, losing is is not the right word for that. I get, I guess. <laughs> This Herald is gonna advance because he doesn't care, and these mooks will uh, walk around. They haven't paralleled yet, that's actually pretty amazing. So they have gone, done a good job at harnessing powers but not dying. And then these here will run away. Primaris is gonna walk away. This guy's gonna walk away. Uh, not sure what this Herald does. Is no Herald number four and number one? Is it really number one? It is. I thought Herald number one died. No, he's still here. Oh, he knows possession. Excellent. Both of these guys <laughs> know possession, so they're gonna turn into a great unclean one, I guess, because. Uh, they are already in position and they don't just have to tank stuff and with the Great Iron Cleave one the problem is that these guys actually do take uh, quite a while to kill even with sonic weapons so these guys will jump behind cover because 2 plus shrouded sense are like a great idea and then I'll make sure I have cursed earth here so the Great Iron Cleave ones have their thing the horrors will advance, they are absolutely fearless, this squad cannot do anything to them, otherwise there will be more blue horrors. And they have to deal with them later though, because there's two unclean ones here that will deal with them. This dude here is not supercharged anymore, so he's gonna go this way. I know he knows possession as well, because I tried to kill him last turn, that's why he went super saiyajin. Yep, he knows possession. And that is my setup for this turn. Alright, so Psychic can start. Let the madness begin. Um, we got two warp charges from him, three warp charges plus one from him. Next guy is also an original one. Next guy is dead. This guy has two warp charges. This guy has four warp charges and two warp charges and four warp charges, four warp charges, four warp charges. Then we have two psychers and we have to count some dudes over here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's two more for every five. And these guys are all alive, so that's three mastery points from them. And then we have two guys still alive with the Psyka, and the Psyka has more than 10 dudes around him. Then we have one, two, three, four, five lot of changes. That's uh, ten dice from him. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units of pink horrors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six units of blue horrors. And we have two units of brimstone horrors. And even better, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I get additional charge because they are too many. And uh, these guys are not enough. Okay, that's our warp charge pool. I haven't counted it, but it's a lot. I mean, if I make... Actually, I can count it really quickly. That's 138 uh, divided by 2. 50, 65... 69? 69 more charges, yeah. 
why not? <laughs> in turn three. So it's beginning of turn three. And I, I lost some units. It's not like this is all. This is uh, with losing guys. With, with losing a lot of change here and then one here and whatnot. Okay. I guess I'm going to charge now. I don't know. I'm going to start with the important stuff and casting the great unclean one things over there. I can invest a lot of warp charges in that because uh, it will win me the game. So we take 8 dice to deny that. Uh, also d6 by the way. Okay, so Chaos Space Marines can basically deny nothing because we both only got two charges uh, in general. Uh, they have the sorcerers, that's true, but still it's really hard to deny um, so many dice. That's their deny pool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. Okay, there we go. So first, Herald uh, makes it with one, two, three, four, five. I will not deny that because it's way too much. Uh, he's taking his leadership. He's totally good, and a great unclean one is produced. Vomp. Hello. Oh, actually, he was scattered because I failed. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to try to summon him exactly here. So Herald number 4 is dead. Okay, he has a direct hit, so he's right there. I'm going to delete Herald number 4 from his list. And guess what? We need a new... <laughs> A new psychic card, I'm not even kidding. Because, guess what, the great unclean one is a psyker. I'm gonna roll on Biomancy with him. Because it makes the most sense, and I just need to make them super tough, and that's it. Then I can stall for blood letters and blood thirsters and whatnot. Slanesh. Uh, let's see what he gets. He gets number four. I have no idea what that is because I rarely play Biomancy. I love Biomancy, but I uh, rarely play any armies that would take it. And here we go. Scroll, scroll, scroll. That is Warp Speed. Three initiative and attacks and fleet. Okay, that's not, not bad, I guess. So he has Warp Speed and uh, Smite. Warp speed. Um, the dude next to him, number uno, is gonna do the exact same. He also knows possession. So he's gonna pump all his dice into there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dice. So we have a 98%. Okay, that's <laughs> undeniable. <laughs> like, not even close to deniable. Um, leadership check on him. He's Gucci. Um, oh yeah, I forgot again to cast Cursed Earth. <laughs> well, I guess I guess that's cool. Oh yeah, here's there's our core, of course. I knew it all along. There's an icon next to him. So he's not gonna scatter, but he's gonna scatter 1d6 because it is a demon, but he is not the same alignment as Zinch is. So this guy cannot miss her, but um, he will move a little. Oh, actually, he will mess up. Did, will he? Yeah. He's landing right on top of him. Fits Batman. Alright, what happens to him? Uh, ongoing reserves. Okay. So he's waiting here. Let's roll real quick what he has. On Biomancy, he has Iron Arm. Okay, so he is a really, really hard to kill beast. Uh, it's actually pretty problematic because Iron Arm makes him so incredibly tough uh, that they might not even be able to hurt him. It's plus 3 to toughness. And I think he's toughness 7, isn't he? Yeah, so he's, he's toughness 10. So he can't even touch him with anything. Okay, so I guess I just have to get this guy on the field and he's gonna smash something. Alright, so now that I fucked up enough, I'm gonna use my brain again and cast 
um, because of with the number four because I have another great unclean one that I can summon uh, I get it uh, with a peril peril is super saiyajin if I pass leadership test and I pass it so my guy now has flash brain armor bay and 3 plus in one save all the good stuff and the, will they try to deny that? no not really it's not worth the dice so we activate our circle of love again and nothing will scatter in this uh, in this aerial can't see the shadow but that's okay so this guy here herald number one is gonna try to suicide next one two three four five six seven eight nine charges again I mean it's very costly to do that but uh, if I can bind these guys in close combat I'll probably win the game anyway um, just by toughness reasons I get it with six I'm gonna try to deny actually it's um, all of this is pretty much undeniable okay not a single six doesn't even matter <laughs> okay leadership check yeah that's a great and clean one um, he's gonna roll on biomancy and he gets number four as well. That's warp speed. Warp speed. And whoop de doop. He's summoned within six inches and he's gonna take the exact same place the guy that's got off the board took and there is two monstrous creatures in their face. Let's see how they deal with that. And Herald number one is deleted from the list of good guys that died. Although he's already a secondary Herald, this guy was summoned in, in turn uh, one. Okay, do we have more possession? Uh, 13. Oh yeah, 13 uh, can also try to become a actually he's too far to be a great and clean one I'm gonna make him a bloodthirster so he can fly over and then <laughs> charge so let's let's do it got five six seven eight nine let's go buddy uh, he has it barely wow he that's exactly why I throw so many I guess uh, leadership he's cool I'm going to bring in a blood sister number two. Whoop. Uh, I'm never sure. Is it within 12 or within 6? Because this would make a big difference. I would bring in something else. I would keep forgetting though. It's all telepathy. There it is. Possession is range 6. Okay. So basically, possession is range six, but and um, sacrifice is two, but incursion and uh, summoning is twelve. So pretty easy to remember. All right, this guy here is gonna be summoned right there. Actually, this is not not too far. Okay, let's get another great unclean one. I just love these guys, and the model is awesome. Fuck the bloodthirster. We're going full Nurgle worship here. All right, great unclean one is going on biomancy. Number five, okay, that's I think that is a good one. I remember this from somewhere, so I guess it's good, right? Uh, where is it? Demonology. Uh, endurance, yeah, he has an endurance. So eternal warrior, feel no pain and relentless. That is some bad stuff because he can put it on other guys as well. So I could put this on my um, on my uh, flying monsters, and he is number four. Okay, and Herod thirteen is now down. Okay, I think we possessed everything that needs to be possessed. Uh, we have one guy that can possess himself, which is number three. 
Do we want that? Where's number three? Where are you? Here, this guy. This guy can possess himself. I, am, I mean, it, technically it would bring him a little bit further, then he would fall down, and then he could charge next turn. So let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna kill this guy as well. <laughs> Why not? Um, he's <laughs> he's gonna take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 dice to kill himself <laughs> and become a demon of Nurgle. Okay, he gets it. And he does it. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna delete number 3. And instead we bring in another great and clean one. Bloop. <laughs> Uh, within six inches of him. Hello. It doesn't scatter. And he's removed from play. Bloop. That's how you land. <laughs> you fly over there and then you kill yourself with possession. <laughs> so you can land over there. And that's how you bring in four great unclean ones <laughs> in one turn. And you're not even done yet. I mean I can still summon stuff and I probably have to. Because that blob over there is tough. So let's see what, um, what else we can do to make their life miserable. We have um, Blue Horror Squad number 3 here. On duty they have possession, of course they do. <laughs> so 4, 5, 6, 7, ah, let's go with 7, I'm feeling I'm feeling lucky. Yeah, they got it with 7. Uh, leadership test, they got it. And Blue Horror sacrificed themselves. And while they die and cry, they're like, that's what you get for killing us. Because <laughs> they were produced by somebody shooting at a pink horror unit, obviously. Um, I'm going to bring in a keep of secrets just for loads, because I like the model. And they are also a very underplayed unit. Chaos. Demons. Expand. Uh... Keeper of Secrets. Hallelujah! Here he is to ruin the day. Um, within six inches, I guess. Right there. And guess what? He generates a new power. I'm gonna go uh, with Stanish. What's up with the die here? Still? Five. So I will put a new section. It's a keeper of secrets. And F5 is something something, I have no idea. Uh, where's my demonic incursion? Oh yeah, actually, but the best thing is these uh, late on creep ones I just brought in. They all have AP three for poison four plus flamer, so good luck with that um, because they always know their primaris power, even though they wrote on biomancy because of uh, their focus. Okay, he has slicing shards. No, it's not that good. I'm gonna uh, swap that for. No, actually, I don't even have to. So I have Stithing Shards and the Primaris, which is a, a whip. So I'm gonna whip these guys, that's for sure. So it's like, you want, <laughs> you want pain? I bring you pain. That's exactly what I, I do. That's what I live for. So 24 range whip. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna cast that right away. All right, let's whip them. Let's whip it out. Yeah, we got it. So that's a beam. So we draw a line through as many units as we can. Uh, probably three here. Now I can get four with the bikes. So four. Uh, it automatically hits, obviously. Uh, it's swing six and rending. So wounding. Oh, come on. What's up with the dice today? Wounding on twos, uh, three up armor, and four up Fino Pain from the Icon of Axis, 
And there we go, two guys get whipped. <laughs> Just like that. Alright. Um, this guy's like, nom 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 nom. Just wait until I come back. And I attack with toughness 10. <laughs> okay. So go, so far so good. Um, oh yeah, I can still summon some, some stuff in here, right? So let's get, uh, see what else I have in my repertoire. Uh, Chaos, Demons, Expand. I'd like some, um, how's they called? Demonettes. Some ladies. Get the ladies in here. Okay, they're gonna cast uh, Summoning, obviously, on four dice. And they get it, they peril. Kabam, one died. One is dead. The ladies get summoned. Uh, actually, I don't want them to scatter, so I'm I'm gonna summon them here. And the shadows of the great unclean ones. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously, these girls have a banner as well. So if I uh, need to bring in stuff and so on, I got them here as well. And. I guess I could try something else. Aren't these guys dead? I thought they're dead. You're dead to me. I have Herod number three hiding back there. What is he doing? Uh, he can summon. He can also try to make new units. Oh yeah, why not? Um, Yeah, he's gonna summon a, a new unit of pink horrors because I feel really like doing that. So summoning a new unit, I'm gonna use not as many charges as I like, but I still get it off. Le oh no, no leadership test is required because quite obviously we are pulling in a new unit. Uh, we're gonna call them pink horror unit number four. They roll, they gain something. I think it's Inferno gaze something I don't know doesn't matter it's not an important power to me and they come in within 12 if I want to but I don't want to I want them within six inches of me so I can sacrifice one of them that's the only reason I brought them in so I'm gonna sacrifice one of these and produce a new herald I'm gonna call him herald number one and he's gonna bring in the grimoire of true names. So he just have has one power that he generates from um, demonology, obviously. So some summoning because he flips that for his primary. And uh, what what was I gonna say? It, that causes a new unit of blue horrors to arise. They're gonna pick summoning instead. And I guess he's getting out of here. Hep. So he is. This guy is slain. Instead, we get two blue horrors. If summoning is number three. And surprise, they are back exactly where we had them. <laughs> right there. That's how I roll. And that herald here is herald number one again. Easy as that. And that's all my mob charges. I just brought in one, two, three, four, five, six, six greater demons, a herald, two squads of demons, and I don't know what else. A bunch of stuff, and they all have like terrifying powers, like warp speed, iron arm, and that's all great spells for combat. And all of these guys here have toughness seven, so even with shred and even with plus one strength, they will only hurt them on sixes. So uh, they better shred a lot. And the Grand Climas don't get cover, that's true, but still, their toughness seven is pretty annoying. <laughs> and then they have to deal with a keeper of secrets as well, otherwise, they die anyway.
Okay, so let's go to the uh, shooting phase. In the shooting phase we have the Warpstone table of Zinj. Activates. Uh, five, that's a good one. I remember that one. Uh, where do I find that? Oh yeah, wrong book. Let's go to the next book. Wrath of Magnus. I need to make a copy of that and just have it all in one 